three little dots, sometimes vertical, sometimes horizontal. They're everywhere in user interfaces these days. These icons are referred to as overflow menus, and while they may look simple, misusing them can cause confusion and frustration for users. So let's break down how to use them correctly. Overflow menus are used to store actions related to a specific element, like a document or a post or an image. And they're used to contain, well, you know, just about anything designers want to wipe off the interface in order to reduce clutter. If you want to use overflow menus effectively, follow these rules. Use them for secondary actions, not for main site navigation. Second, place them near relevant content. Proximity matters with these. Next, avoid using them to hide just one to two actions. If there's space, display those actions directly. And finally, make them noticeable. Small, low contrast menus often go unnoticed by users.